All right, everybody. We've got a matchup coming to you last second tonight. Oh, let me close this door. Sorry. Get my shit out of the way. All right. Sorry about that. And our first two bands are in Brightwing and Joe. This is Clouded Minds versus Five Fish in a Trench Coat. Love the names. Uh, this is going to be a Division C West matchup. And let's take a look at what our division standings are currently. Division C West. Uh, right now, Clouded Minds is 7 and 5. Writing this down on my handy dandy notepad. Five Fish in a Trench Coat are 2 and 8. Currently in 11th place, and uh, Clouded Minds is currently in fourth. It looks like, um, yeah, that is definitely uh, five fish in a trench coat. Took uh, either, we're not really sure what happened on the coin toss, but it looks like they're going to have first pick here tonight, which means Infernal Shrines was the first map picked by Clouded Minds. Shrines. We'll find out what maps were banned here in a second. First pick going out as Sylvanas. So we saw our bands come in. Joe, Stukov, Anduin, Brightwing. All pretty typical uh, typical bands here. Maybe not the Anduin so much. Um, but uh, Clouded Minds is now going to be up for their two picks. Let's see who they opt to take. Tychus and May. Okay, okay. I love May on this map. I think she does really well on the uh, the objective. Um, Tychus always a great AA hero, of course. Um, let's let Discord know that we are live. And the Leo is going to come in. And the Lucio. Awesome. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope you're great. When we go to swap over, I'm going to go grab a glass of whiskey, actually. Because my team just got fucking dominated tonight, and I'm in need of a drink. So hopefully this is a better matchup than the one that my... Uh, my team, Team Frostbite, uh, which you can find more information on in the chat I will put that in for you boom frostbite Let's see if my commands working tonight boom there it is bands come in Diablo party is here whoop, whoop. nugget is in the house <laughs> uh, the Malfurion comes in on the band what's up nugget how'd your uh, storm league games go for everybody in the chat um uh, Nugget is one of my teammates. She plays a uh, healer for our team and DPS. Ooh, and a Keltos and a Deckard coming in. Nice. I want whiskey too. <laughs> Ooh, and a Kira. Nice, nice. I love that skin, by the way. It's my favorite Kira skin. So a... Hmm... Interesting. Murad in here. So we got a pretty big blow-up comp potential over here with the Murad and Leo. And oh, Sonya's going to come in. Sonya's great on this map, of course. Uh, but we also have a... Uh, yeah, draft-wise, I'm I'm leaning towards Infernal... Sh I'm sorry, Infernal Shrines. <laughs> I'm leaning towards Clouded Mines for the, uh, the team fight comp. I think they've got a little bit of a better overall team fight comp. But... Uh, five fish and a trench coat are going to play really well on this objective, I think, with uh, with their sustain healing, uh, speed, mobility. Uh, Leo is just great on this map. He has great clear, and he can very easily line up two and three man um, in tombs because of the way this map plays. And sorry, I don't have the logos up here tonight. Uh, this was a last second pickup, and I just haven't put them up there yet. They are okay. 
<laughs> Just okay, huh, Nugget? It's one of those nights, right? Hey, I feel ya. I feel ya, for real. Me and Nugget just had a very sweaty uh, match, Division E matchup, um, where we definitely should have won our both of our games. And, you know, sometimes they just don't turn out in your favor, and that's okay. But we, we threw pretty heavy. So enough about my game and my problems. May is being played by Stark Knight. Uh, Triliana, Triliana is playing Tychus. Uh, Kian is on the Sonya. We've got Peach playing Deckard. Ruffian playing Kel'Thas. Uh, Zombie Boss HD on the Leo, uh, FW playing Muradin, King Carry on the uh, Kira, Samsonite on the Savannas, and uh, Brew on the. I'm not sure who the hell that was. Actually, Samsonite is playing uh, Lucio, so Brew must be playing uh, Savannas. Yes. They was off on that made it worse. I'm sorry, Nugget. And uh, early game kill is going to be coming out here on the Kira. Uh, she dove in and, and paid the price for that, unfortunately. They was off. Nugget, I'm sorry you had a terrible day. I hope it gets a little bit better. You know, we can hang out here, have have a drink or two, maybe enjoy some better uh, better games than the ones we just played. Look at it this way. Tomorrow's a new day, and uh, we get to try again, right? So Zombie Boss and Kian in the, in the off lane uh, top. Uh, you know, Sonya's actually pretty solid in the Leo, so I would think that she's going to take the upper hand in most of those uh, 1v1 face-offs. So uh, let, let's see how that turns out. I'm an off laner uh, myself, so I'm interested to see how that comp's going to work. And we go ahead and see um, Clouded Minds move over to their siege camp, but at the same time, uh, Five Fish in a trench coat. And that is too long of a name, so I'm just going to call them the fish, uh, or five fish. Go ahead and take that bottom neutral camp, uh, and then rotate up to theirs. So, recognizing where uh, Clouded Mines was at, they took the initiative and went ahead and secured that uh, that bottom camp, knowing they'll be able to go and then secure their camp next, and then move mid and clear uh, this camp and get a push there. Ideally, that's the plan. Uh, you would think yes here we go clouded mine's gonna rotate middle now gotta get their soak and uh, gotta defend against this uh, this camp here let's take a look at the talents as they come in got a W build on the Sonya uh, Kel'Thots went mana addict as he as he should fire is being spread um, Interesting build choice there on the uh, the Leo opting for wave clear prio here. Um, May is going to be able to slide out. Oh, and uh, Kira with the aggressive dive on Peach, but Peach is going to be able to save himself. He almost was able to bring her behind the wall, which is <laughs> always uh, always scary as a uh, as a Kira when you latch on and get dragged behind the wall. Let's go, Team Peach! Who the hell is Team Peach? Who is Team Peach? Okay, Clouded Minds is Team Peach. <laughs> uh, welcome, Ewok Thor. I love that name, by the way. Ewok Thor. Two pretty great things, and we're going to see Clouded Minds go ahead and take their Bruiser Camp. At the same time, uh, Five Fish and a Trench Coat are going to take theirs, and we have our first Shrine popping up here. And, uh, yeah, Ewok Thor, that's a great name. Hey, welcome to the chat. If you hadn't hit it yet, smash that follow button. You'll have an awesome interaction to enjoy, um, and I would really appreciate it. It would be one step closer to our 100 follower goal that we're trying to reach. So, uh, Clouded Mind's kind of retreating a little bit here, uh, and we see the Kira dive in, and she's going to be able to secure a kill, yes, on the Kel'Thas, and backs out, but a Trade Lucio kill is coming in, and now Sanja's just chasing them down. W, 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 W. And, uh, man, King Carry is just having to retreat, retreat, retreat. I think Leo's going to get caught up here. Uh, yes, he is. Leo's going to die, but uh, he took some health with him, and Tychus is going to get traded out. Kian is chasing down this Kira, and Kira just continues to walk away, turn around, juice back up with the Q, uh, and yeah, she's going to be able to escape. Sonya's just so great on this map. She really is. I love Clouded Team Comp. All for Spicy. Yeah, it, it is a really good, really good team comp. I agree. 
Let's see how it works out. Keltos gets isolated. He's going to toss his Phoenix. Uh, I don't know if he's going to be able to walk out of here because Muradin is all up his ass, as is Leo of Peaches, and he is definitely going to die. Kian's in the back line, and secure the Mortar Punisher. She's going to grab that soak and just slide out of there. Uh, Lucio better be careful because Sonya's going to kill you. Ooh. And we saw Muradin drop up here, and poor Kira. Look at this fight going down here. Pike is just going to be able to melt her down eventually. She can run. She can hide, but she's done for. Oh, and she turns it. She turns it. Let's see if she's a goose. Oh, that was great. That was great. She almost got that kill. <laughs> I love those close-up fights like that. It's so much fun. <laughs> Feels like you're right on top of the action. And uh, Sonya's already bottom. Kian's down there securing the bottom camp. Uh, losing out on Soak, obviously, down here is, uh, is five fish. But they had a defending against that Punisher. Uh, zombie boss looks like he's DC just standing next to the tower. <laughs> and uh, Samsonite and Nick are, are middle dealing with May. Muradin down here in the off lane with uh, with Kian on the Sonya. Got a friend of mine named Kian. He spells it with a C though. It's Irish. Go figure. And we're going to see uh, five fish rotate bottom to clean up this camp. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they're going to rotate back mid. Um, recognizing that they have another camp pushing mid and they need to clean that up as well um, clouded mines is got about a half level lead so tens will be in here pretty soon wowzer the aggression is real hey i'm here for the for the aggression all day long i'm probably going to go in in some storm league games here after this cast that's how that's that's kind of day that i'm having just kidding i would never <laughs> and we see uh we see five fish in a trench coat rotating over to take their uh their siege camp and then they're going to split off and no, turn back around. Uh, Leo's still isolated bottom. And uh, with the level 10s, they're looking for a fight here. Ice Wall, Stay Wild and Listen, Commander Odin, Leap, Phoenix, and level 10s coming in. Avatar and Tomb, Mind Control, uh, Unrelenting Strike. And the Stay Wild and, and Listen comes in. They're going to try to isolate this Muradin and blow him up. But, of course, he's going to be able to jump out of there. Oh, and the Ice Wall barely misses on the Lucio. Uh... That was a good combo. Unfortunately, Murden is just so tanky. It's very hard, even with a proper uh, chain CC, to to kill Murden because he can tank it, tank it, tank it, and then just E out of there and play safe. We'll take a look at our stats for everybody who's interested in those. Currently, uh, Kira and Sonya leading in damage. And that's going to change very soon because the fire is being spread. Uh, Sonya's in trouble here. She's isolated. Kira latches onto her. He's going to boop her back. Let's see if Stay Wild Listens comes out. Oh, it's not up. He's got 14 seconds left. The old man didn't have any stories ready. Fortunately, his team is able to escape. And uh, now they are trying to decide where they want to go. Bottom or mid. And we do see both bruiser camps up, so uh, immediately Clouded Mind goes to their bruiser camp. Shortly thereafter, Five Fish goes to their bruiser camp. And we're going to have our next shrine up here in 10 seconds. Oh, man. Let's see. Leo in the bush. Odin is popped. Uh, we see Phoenix come in. The flames are being split left to right. A big entomb, but a counter leap jumps in. Stay a while. Listen, it is popped so that Odin can escape. Oh, and the fire is spread. That is the danger of allowing Kelthos to be picked on this map. Uh, Kira does complete her quest during that, but uh, that's going to be a three-man wipe. And uh, Clouded Minds played that really well. It was almost like a bait engage. And uh, this objective is going to be theirs. Of course, these camps are kind of stalling each other out top, which is the ideal world for both teams. Uh, and we're going to see Arcane Punisher go over, and uh, Keltas does Keltas Keltas does finish his um, his Man Addict quest here. And this Arcane Punisher is going to push bottom. Oh, big leap in! Let's see if they combo it. They do try to combo, but again, Murden's just going to be able to leap out. Lucio's going to heal him back up. This Arcane Punisher. Um, is definitely going to take down this fort. Sonya did have to rotate mid to get soak, and you would think she's going to go top. Yes, she does go top to uh, to clean up that camp. 
If I'm Sonya, I'm looking to uh, clean up that camp and then push top. Try to secure that. Uh, Samsonite's having to slide, 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 slide down that wall. And uh, they may get the wall. Of course, they're not going to get the, uh, the keep here. But they're looking for another kill. <laughs> Ooh, and Muradin gets jumped back. Uh, bumped back and uh, while he's on fire. Oh, and Kira dives in. Kira dives in. Let's see if she's going to be able to secure a kill on old man. Uh, stay a while. Listen, is up. Let's see if he's going to have to pop it here. I think he's about to. Uh, we saw a big E come in to uh, to save the team, and stay a while was not used. Commander Odin was, though. And yeah, Kian must have been listening to me because that's exactly what Kian did. Rotated. Leo's going to be on his back, but I think uh, I think he's going to be safe with his, uh, his leap up. Not really going to have to burn it yet. He can just spin to win. And we do see Clouded Minds go ahead and take that siege camp while they have the opportunity to do so. We'll take a look at our level 13s. Now, Five Fish uh, does have the level 14, but there's about a level and a half lead. Um, so, of course, Cloud of Mines is going to get 16s first, and they're sitting in this bush waiting for a kill here. They're going to engage. Oh, Muradin's dead. So, that's the perfect combination, and it can work on Muradin, obviously. Um, Ice Wall comes in. They're going to try to get another kill here. I'm not sure they're going to get it unless they... Uh... Ooh, a big counter, and Tomb comes in, and Kira dives in with her ultimate... Uh, just slinging blades left and right. The defensive Phoenix comes in, and Sonya jumps in on the back line. Samsonite's in trouble, but I don't think he's going to be able to kill her. Uh, and in the meantime, Kira hey, hey, and Triliana. Hey, you want to hold on? No, nope, Triliana lives. Just a second. <laughs> Moist Weenus, love the name. I saw you in uh, in Rockus chat earlier, uh, watching that debacle of a match that I played. Uh, thanks for the follow. I really appreciate the support. Hope you enjoy that uh, interaction there. I need to update that. I need to find some more, uh, maybe, maybe go back to my Alarak voice lines. Level 16's come in. Let's take a look at those. So, of course, that was a two-man kill on the, uh, the Kira and the Lucio. Um, I need to rotate bottom now, get this soak, clear up this lane. And, uh, Sonya is now gonna go ahead and start this top bruiser camp while her team takes this bottom siege camp. Uh, the entirety of Five Fish is up now. They're going to need to get 16 and then fight. <clears throat> so I think our next shrine is about a minute and a half out. Oh no, it's 30 seconds out. Did my math wrong. 69. Yeah, I love it. I love it. And uh, yeah, we see Clouded Mines. No, use Junkrat. No. Hey, thanks for the uh, thanks for the the bits there. I really appreciate that, Moist. Always appreciate the support. Um, and uh, hope you enjoy the the stream tonight. So we're gonna see Clouded Minds go ahead and position themselves to take this objective. I don't see with a lack of level 16s uh, any way in which five fish are going to be able to take this objective so they're of course just going to sit in a bush and wait see if maybe they can catch somebody uh, being over aggressive Leo is now bottom cleaning up this bottom camp uh, as soon as level 16s come in then we are going to have a fair fight for about mm, maybe a minute and a half <laughs> Sonya's pushing top lane right now Got a camp pushing in as soon as she clears up this opposite bruiser camp, and we're going to see the siege camp taken. No, they're just clearing it. They're going to instead push with the Arcane Punisher, or Frozen Punisher, as they should. Uh, yeah, but Alarax just got way better voice lines, Nugget. I'm sorry. And uh, Frozen Punisher is uh, it's pretty deadly. Oh, and a big combination there on the Leo. The fire is able to stick around and secure another kill. Level 20s are going to come in before this Punisher is down, I think, which means they're going to be able to push this keep if they so elect to. They're just looking for a kill here. They've already got one. They get one more kill, and they can potentially end. Let's go, CM. Thanks for casting. Heck yeah. Let's go, Clouded Mines. Hey, they're playing very well right now. Uh, happy to cast. Sorry I picked it up so last minute. I actually... Uh, I'll tell you all the funny story here in a second. Oh, and a big counter kill comes out on the Keltos. Say a while, listen, comes out. But a big entomb comes out by the Leo. And 
the old man is fighting for his life with his cane. The Frozen Punisher is still up, though, and it's going to come in and get a double stun. And right now, we just got a freaking A-Ram going on. Uh, they are chasing this bald old man down. This has to be a crime of elder abuse. King Carry dives in, is able to latch on, but May, no, May's not going to be able to secure the kill. Mirrodin is so low, but he's still here. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, he gets juiced up at the last second. This is an A-Ram. This is an absolute A-Ram. Leo's just uh, sucking Sonya dry, uh, but Sonya <laughs> lashes on. The mind control comes out. Everyone's rooted. Everyone's stunned. Lucio's just trying to keep his team alive. He is going to be able to jump over and secure the kill on the Sonya. What a fight. Hey, Five Fish said they're not going down without a fight. Uh, Itsy Cake. Hey, it's Sky Cake maybe, or it's, it's Ski Cake. I think it's it's Sky Cake. Thank you for the, uh, the cheered bits. I really appreciate it. CM go. Let's go, Clouded Minds. Hey, they, yeah, they just got, got their shit turned around on them a little bit there. But uh, that was an awesome fight. I can't with you. <laughs> Yo, that fight was wild, Nugget. Oh, man. That just made my day a lot better. I hope it made yours better, too. Oh, man. That was a great, great fight. I love those lengthy fights. And that whole freaking time. Uh, uh, Murden, you better be careful here. You're going to get chased down. Oof. That was close. Uh, that whole freaking time, five fish were down level 20s during that fight. Oh, man. I guess during the later part of the fight, level 20s just came in. Um, or maybe they recognized the level 20s were about to come in. I don't know. I was too busy looking at the freaking A-Round brawl that was going on. My man Deckard. Yeah, I know you like the old, sweet, bald man telling everybody stories. But really, he's kind of creepy. You realize he's putting people to sleep with stories that he doesn't know. And letting his team just do what they want with them. That's that's a little little creepy. Skeet cake. <laughs> uh, Bukaki. Oh man. Oh man. We're getting into a topic that I don't want to discuss. Murdered anchoring like a good tank too. May doing the same thing. Uh, this just needs to be literally sneezed on right here. And uh, we did get a 62% damage right there. I don't think. Clouded Minds wants that smoke right now. It looks like Five Fish does. Will they fish around and find trout? <laughs> Yo, voice. That was bad, but it... It was bad, but it was good at the same time. Uh, whoa. Look at these teams. Look at these teams. They're, they, they're ready. Look at this. Let's see if they're going to fight. Uh, I agree with our Let's Go Team. Um, yet, yet we, we let children believe in Santa. What do you mean we let them believe in Santa? Santa's real nugget. I'm sorry you were so bad you always got coal your whole life, but Santa's real is uh is real. Big miss on the ice wall. Oh, huge and tomb comes in, but the fire is being spread. Stay a while, listen comes out. This is gonna be a five man wipe. Yep. What a beautiful, beautiful combination out by the side of clouded mines, and they're gonna be able to secure this final kill, and they're gonna be able to end. Hey, kudos to Five Fish. They put up a hell of a fight in this match. Uh, the entire match was kind of in Clouded Mind's hand until uh, until Five Fish showed showed some life there at the end. Um, unfortunately, it's it's not going to be enough. Uh, that was a beautiful engage right there. I suggest anybody who wants to learn how to properly team fight. Go back when this VOD is uploaded, rewatch this clip, and you will see exactly how an engage should go. They waited for the Entomb to come out, and counter engaged perfectly. Chain CC blew everyone up, and uh, GG's to Clouded Minds. Ooh, they fished around and found that trout. <laughs> yes, they did. Yes, they did. All right, let's take a look at these stats real quick. Tyka Sonya Kelthos with the top damage. Yeah, you could tell that there was just a lack of damage on the side of five fish throughout that fight. I mean, even that big ARAM brawl, we saw that they weren't able to uh, to secure kills very effectively. They were having a chase, and it was a lengthy fight for them to get their kills there. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. All right, we'll take a look at those talents for everybody. And um, I'm going to go and grab a drink real quick while the next match gets ready so be right back guys and girls
All right, I'm back. Uh, show my doggies. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can get them in here. Um, have I been invited to the next map? I don't think so. Hey, puppies! Baloo, come, 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 come! Sorry, I'm yelling. Come here, dude. Hey, look. Look, it's puppy number one. Look, here he is. Here, hold on. I gotta show the camera. Gotta show the camera. Here he is. Yeah, there's puppy number one. That's Baloo. Yeah, he's a sweet boy. Sorry, my socks are in the screen. Dude. Hey, look. Yeah, there him is. Cool. There's Baloo. Uh, Nola the Pitbull is being shy, evidently. She did not want to be on camera tonight so we'll just let Baloo chill in the background over there and we're gonna wait on an invite there he is isn't he such a big boy he's a big sweet boy look at that tail whenever he gets excited <laughs> oh, he's such a good pup this is Baloo is his name uh, the pit bull I, I would imagine is asleep right now and it's being shy. Oh my God, so pretty. Yeah, he's a sweet boy. I'm gonna eat my banana. I guess I picked like the most erotic food to eat on camera, <laughs> but it's okay, I don't care. He's a sweet boy. All right, let's see if these teams are ready. Uh, match screen. I don't know what maps were banned. So we know that map one was, sorry everybody, I, I, I promise I'm usually way more organized, but I literally picked this map up after the game was already supposed to have started. So Infernal Shrines was our first map. Um, I don't know if they're going to invite me or not. Maybe not. <clears throat> I vote he stays on camera. <laughs> I'll scoot over so y'all can see him. There he is. Look at him. He's got an ear scratch. There we go. All right. Battlefield of Eternity is going to be our next map. Let's check out and see what our banned maps were. Uh, Battlefield of Eternity. There it is. Boom. He's probably going to leave. He doesn't really like a lot of loud noises. He gets a little skittish. Battlefield of Eternity. Boom. All right, let's see. Nobody wants to tell me what the band map's worth. That's okay. Uh, CM banned Spider Queen. Okay. So Spider Queen is banned, and Dragonshire is banned. Five Fish banned Sky Temple, and... Uh, Braxis. Perfect. Thank you for that. That way we can update everyone, let everybody know where we're at at the moment. And we will say CM1 map 1. CM was our winner for map 1. Perfect. I vote he stays on camera such a teddy. Hey, he is a teddy bear. Literally, he is the most cuddly dog ever I love him he's great uh, oh I got a new gun does anybody want to see it check it out so this is a Glock 17 I've got a Burris fast fire red dot on it and a TL TLR 7 stream light obviously you see the light there yeah it's pretty sweet right all right enough of the guns I think our teams are ready. They are getting the map 
ready currently. I'm going to eat my banana and listen to any jokes that come in. But I'm sorry because I'm hungry. And my hunger outweighs your jokes. We do have a nice glass of uh, 10 cup whiskey here tonight in the LSU Law glass. For those of you who don't know, I'm a lawyer by day, wannabe HOTS player and caster by night. <sighs> we got 15 viewers in the chat. Hey, shout out your team. Shout out who you think is going to win this match too on Battlefield of Eternity. I love matchups on this particular match. Uh, they're always fun. They're always exciting. Although game one was very exciting. Ruffian CM has followed. Hey, Ruffian. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm assuming the CM stands for Clouded Minds. Really appreciate you following. Uh, good luck in your next uh, next match. Oh, yeah, Ruffian. There he is. Uh, good luck in your next match, for sure. And uh, thanks for having me last minute. I sent you my glass. I blocked you on Discord, so you couldn't send me messages anymore. This is my favorite cast you have done officially. <laughs> uh, your picture's not, not coming through, Nugget can't see the the glass i don't know what's going on all right bands joe diablo stukov brightwing and the vala first pick comes in yeah you, you see vala um banned out a lot here but i guess they had more prio picks or more prio bands than than the vala oh there it is shrewd nice slithering glass love that I knew you were probably a Slytherin. You were either a Slytherin or a Hufflepuff. That's for certain. And the Raynar and the Rhaegar come in. <laughs> uh, so, of course, Raynar and Vala. I'll never join your VIP room. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. All jokes, all jokes, all jokes. All right. Back to the business here. Rainer, Vala, great race on this map. Rhaegar obviously has his ancestral. Ooh, Artanis and one. So great, great race over to the side of uh, Five Fish. That Artanis with the amateur opponent and the Vala Q build can melt an objective. Uh, so they're definitely setting up for a race off here, which means they're going to need a very beefy front line. I may expect another Murden here. Um... <clears throat> and maybe maybe even another bruiser i think another bruiser would treat them really well with their current comp and gray main is banned out so not wanting the triple mega race that banana is not ready yet it needs like three more days of sitting at the store before anybody should have eaten it. Yeah, here I am eating it and buying it today. <laughs> and uh, Newbrax banned out, but follows up with the Li Ming and May. So another May here. Uh, that is the only pick that is uh, the same over to the side of Clouded Mines. Let me write down my handy dandy notepad. I have a, a list of every single match that I have ever casted in NGS in this notepad. Obviously, it's not a lot, but it's probably 15 or 20 or so. And Stitches Jaina. Ooh. So, uh, a very chilly combination there. That was bad. That was a bad joke. I'm sorry. Um, they're going to, you know, put the opponents on ice. I guess May's already skating on ice over there. Oh, man. I, I, I got to get better at these. Got to get better. But, uh, and another Sonya. I guess Kian, very comfortable in Sonya. Love that skin, by the way. Sonya's best skin. Uh, okay, let's see. What do we like about these teams? I really like the race by Five Fish. I think they're going to win the race. Obviously, there's good race on the side of, of Clouded Minds with the Li Ming and the Rainer and the Sonya. Um, I think, all things considered, Five Fish wins the race. Trying to see who wins the team fight. Man, Stitches, a few good hook gorges could really change this game. Uh, 
Oh, shit. You guys did not get to see the draft. What a doofus. I'm sorry. I didn't have the draft up that whole time. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. Nugget, why didn't you tell me? You're supposed to be my uh, my quality control for these things. Jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. We can't see the draft. You told me too late. You told me way too late. Only the map bands. Oh, my God. I don't know why they let me cast. Trelana playing uh, Rainer. Star Knight playing May. Peach playing Gregor. Ruffian playing Lee Ming. Kian playing Sonya. Nick the Brute playing uh, Jaina. King Carey playing Vala. FFU <laughs> playing Stitches. Samsonite playing Anduin. And uh, Zombie Boss HD on the Artanis. All right. I'm going to make up for that. This is going to be the best damn cast play-by-play uh, -play you have ever seen right here. Let me drink some more of this whiskey. You told me too late. All right. Enough. I'm sorry, Nugget. I let I let you down. I let everybody down. I let it, I let you all down. All right. Both teams are going to match up here bottom. Let's see. Stitches anchoring Bush. Let's check out our builds here. What do we think? Oh, yep. Okay. He went exterminator. Q build. Uh, w build. Uh, force armor. Okay. Big miss. Big miss. 14 other viewers, they didn't care. You're right. They're literally just here for support of their team. They don't give a shit about me. Let's be honest. <laughs> they were probably all just laughing. They're probably all 13 or 14 other viewers are probably in a Discord just like literally laughing at me right now. Making jokes. This doofus doesn't even realize that the draft screen's not up. What a noob. Alright, Stitch is looking for a hook here. Trying to pull trying to pull in somebody to get a kill here. Uh, but he's a little isolated from his team right now. You need to be careful there, Stitch. And we do see a matchup up to your top with the Artanis and the Sonya. Um, considering the fact that Artanis went amateur opponent. Oh, Stitches is... Okay, yeah, he's going to be able to get out of there pretty safely. Uh, big miss on the stun and the uh, the ring there. And a hook comes out, but the teleport is there to escape. So I would think that Sonya is going to edge out a lead in the lane top. Um, she should at least. And I fully expect her to. Given the art amateur opponent pick. But, you know, they took Artanis for a reason. They need to pick amateur opponent at this point. And we're going to see Clouded Minds move down to the uh, the siege camp there. But Five Fish are taking their bruiser camp early here. You normally see this bruiser camp stalled out until the, uh, until the objective is up. That way it can push, but it looks like uh, Clouded Minds is going to do the exact same thing. And maybe there's something I don't know. Zombie Boss is on the objective top. So they were trying to bait this on you in. That's exactly what they were doing. Camps are pushing opposite. Stitches is bottom by himself, uh, clearing camps. So obviously not the best use for Stitches. Uh, this is going to be a 4v, uh, 4v5 up here. And yeah, they're going to leave now. Our objective's up in three seconds. Let's get ready to race. And it looks like Clouded Mines are going to start on the defensive here. Uh... Big boot coming out on the stitches, but May is literally just standing in the middle, absorbing all this damage. Uh, big root coming in. She's going to have to pop her D. Uh, oh, and a great hook on Stark Knight. Fantastic hook to finish off the kill on the May as she was trying to escape. Uh, and we've got a pause. All right, let's 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 move screens. I don't like to... Uh, oh, shit. I don't like to keep that up. We'll move over to our... Uh... We will move over to our map screen, and we will move back once the teams get ready to unpause so that there is no advantage in positioning. Unfortunately, uh, one of the players has disconnected, so we will give them some time to come back. They do big, big brain stuff. We aren't there yet, y'all. <laughs> yeah. 
That is true. Hey, I'm working on it, though. Me and Nugget are uh, in Division E this season. Uh, this is both of our first times playing in NGS, and uh, we're hoping to improve, work our way up. I really want to try uh, uh, to move up in Divisions um, if I can during this next season. Uh, I am participating with my same team during Ravencourt League. Um, but, yeah, so that's the hope, you know? Learning a lot. Casting has been great. I've learned a lot casting. Thankful that NGS has been so accepting and helpful in uh, in my casting career so far. <laughs> as much of a career as it is. Look at this shit. I can't even put up the freaking draft screen when the teams are drafted. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> these teams having a uh, good interaction while we're waiting on someone to come back. Uh, always love to see two teams getting along, playing well together. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Nugget, is your night getting better? I hope it is. <laughs> so evidently we had a cat interference. <laughs> I don't know if the cat turned off the monitor. Oh, wow, the cat turned off the PC. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, so that's that's the cause of the delay. Kitty cat jumped on the PC. <clears throat> it looks like our teams are about ready to move back in. We will be starting here momentarily. And here we go, back to the action. Oh no, we're back on. I hate this. What is the button again? It's L or is it O or is it N? I don't remember which button it is. Nugget, look up which button it is so that I can get off of these heroes. Forget the button always. It's in the observer observer buttons nugget. If you don't mind going and looking, or if anyone in chat knows, there's a hot key to get off of lock onto a hero. I just remember always forget what it is. I thought it was like one, but it's not. It's zero. There it is. No, now I'm on Jaina. <laughs> All right. Well, we will look from Jaina's perspective until someone in chat can tell me what the ch the hot key is. <laughs> uh, this is a good perspective to look at, though. Actually, let's let's take a look at the other perspectives. Oh, we can look back and forth. Uh, Stark Knight, a great one to look at because it gives the full vision of the team here. L. It's not L. I'm still looking at May's perspective. I think. Am I? Oh no. Yes, I'm still looking at May's perspective. It's not L. That's for character. That's for hero lock on. Hold on. Advanced observer. Observe all players. E. Boom. There it is. Look at you, Nugget. Can't do one simple task. It's not L. Quit typing L. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you for trying to help. I appreciate it. Oh, uh, we're in shambles tonight. We're in shambles tonight. Oh, man. All right. So we saw the Immortal go over to the side of uh, Clouded Mines. They're able to get about half damage here on this top fort. And uh, Sonya is solo top for a second here, so she's going to get some pressure. And are we going to see the teams match off down here? It's not C either. Each team just <laughs> sitting in a bush opposite. You're just typing, you're literally just typing letters at this point, Nugget. I know what you're doing. You're joining in to my sabotage here. Oh, big hook on the uh, on Stark Knight. Uh, he's going to be able to pop his trait, but I don't think they're going to have anything else to chain CC him. I think they use it all. Yep. So, took a chunk out of him, though. 
And uh, Zombie Boss is doing his best to defend this this fort without a wall top. And we're going to see our next Immortal spawning up in five seconds. Uh, five Fish going ahead and getting in position for this Immortal race. And uh, they're going to immediately move over and start burning. Uh, in the meantime, Clouded Mines is bottom taking the object, uh, taking the siege camp, which I think is a good trade right now for uh, for them. They're trying to get level tens, is what they're trying to do during this objective. Now we see this top lane pressure here. It is getting some pressure, getting some damage there. Actually, Tim told me these later. Damn it, Tim! <laughs> oh man, great hook there, but the orbs are just blasting in, and we see we're gonna see a death here. We have to see a death here. Big swap by Artanis, and the big old orbs come in to secure a kill on Artanis. Ooh, blind hook. Level 10s aren't far away here. But that is exactly what Clouded Minds needed. They needed a uh, they needed a kill to kind of buy themselves some time to race. And we see the four-man uh, basically anchoring top while they have those level 10s. And we'll take a look at those level 10s. Ice Wall, Ancestral Hyperion, Leap, and Disintegrate. Uh, we are not far. Oh, get that off of there. We are not far from seeing level 10s over to the side of Five Fish, and I think that's exactly what they're waiting for. So, Rainer is having to race here solo, uh, and yeah, they're recognizing what exactly Five Fish is doing, and they move down to finish up this Immortal. And we do see um, the camp secured over by the side of Five Fish. And uh, yeah, level 10s are in. Let's take a look at those level 10s. Gorge, of course. Uh, ooh, missed Gorge there. That was a great opportunity. Rain, Summon Water Elemental, Light Bomb, and Suppression Pulse. The Hyperion comes in for the value push. Stitches is going to get melted here if he doesn't get pulled out. Yep. Okay, Anduin with a timely save. Um, Artanis is in the front line, eating shots left and right. They're going to need to work on this Immortal, and right now they really just can't. The Suppression Pulse comes in, and that gives Artanis an opening to come in. Uh, May is taking shower shots left and right. Stitches is looking for a hook and a gorge. But, um, oh, wow. Great defensive ice wall. Uh, Li Ming, Ruffian is just able to escape barely. Oh, and the big gorge on Stitches, but there's no big pull. Uh, Light Bomb comes in, though, and it looks like they're going to be able to secure the kill on Anduin, but I think... Oh, Li Ming did a lot of damage there. Swap comes in, but it doesn't swap her far enough, and uh, they're chasing now for a kill. I don't think they're going to be able to get it. They're just too low health. Ooh, Stitches, big boy. Oh, Li Ming's just throwing orbs like it's her job, which it actually is her job to throw those orbs. Uh... FFU ate one, and then <laughs> Jaina tried to eat one. Unfortunately, uh, she doesn't have quite the belly to absorb that, like our boy Stitches does. 18 viewers in the chat. Hey, everyone. Hope you're enjoying the stream tonight. Um, we're having a really good matchup. Right now, Clouded Minds is in the driver's seat. They did win map one, which was Infernal Shrines, and they're looking for a, uh, a kill here on this, uh, this Sonya. I don't think they're going to be able to get it. No, they're not. So Clouded Minds is a little in the driver's seat, but hey, we saw five fish show some life last game, and I think, uh, I think we can expect the same once these level 13s come in. Let's take a look at those 13s as they're selected by Clouded Minds. Uh, Clouded Minds is just playing overall uh, smart game, pushing when they can, using their advantage, uh, and just really avoiding untimely deaths. I mean, that's the big thing here. Uh, simple thing in hots. Oh, Zombie hey, Boss is in a, uh, a tough hey, spot you here. Wanna hold on to this explodium for just a second. Rack them, LFG. Oh, man. Watch out there, Rainer. The Ancestral has to pop to save Rainer. Yep, so uh, that was a good good pop. King Carry is really low. He's going to be able to uh, survive. Hey, uh, Rackham LFG, thank you so much for the follow. One one follow closer. One follower closer to our 100 follower goal. Um, appreciate anybody in the, else in the chat hanging out, um, supporting the stream. We're trying to get as many casts in a week as we can. We usually get about three. Three or four is, uh, is an average week for us, so... Uh, Really enjoying this casting. Hey, we got some great matchup tonight. This is, of course, a Division C West matchup here between Clouded Mines and Five Fish. Oh, and a big gorge on uh, on May, but I don't know if they're going to be able to kill her. They are not. 
she's just gonna slide right out of there. I love that mean build. I know you do, Nugget. I know you do. Uh, currently, Clouded Mines is in fourth place. We see Stitches finishes his his quest. Uh, it's currently in fourth place, and Five Fish is currently in eleventh place at two and eight. Clouded Mines is seven and five. Um, we see the level 13s come in on the side of Five Fish and the Five. Oh, and a huge hook on Peach, but the totem is going to come out and defensively allow Peach to just turn into a wolf and fucking run out of there. Big Disintegrate coming in. Of course, they're going to have to split to avoid that. And the orbs are just getting thrown left and right. <clears throat> oh, man. A little to the left, and I think that Rainer would have been toast because that was a beautiful hook. Defensive... Uh, Ice wall comes in. Actually, an aggressive ice wall comes in, and they're going to be able to secure. Woo! And one with the big. Oh, but the leap in by Ken and secures the kill on Stitches. Wow. Great play by Sonya, recognizing that Stitches was in leap range, diving in and securing that kill. And I think at this point, um, I think. Uh, maybe not. No, Clouded Mines is not going to be able to finish. Ken is eating shots left and right. Oh, the light bomb, Artanis. Nugget, it didn't work. Stasis comes in to save Jaina. Uh, they're going to be able to defend this, I believe, but uh, they need Stitches to come back in quick. And uh, right now, you just die on core. Yeah. Clouded Minds is going to secure the win here on game two, and that is going to be a domination. Uh, that's going to put Clouded Minds at 10 and 5. We'll take a look at these stats real quick. Clouded Minds at 10 and 5, 5 fish at uh, 2 and 11. So we saw this, yeah, we saw this this build just really do work. Um, oh, did take the glass cannon after all. We saw this build really do work. Uh, didn't see a lot of kills this match. But uh, obviously the Li Ming Rainer were just able to dominate the damage side. They are not us. <laughs> and uh, Sonya leading in the, uh, in the soak against the Artanis and Rhaegar. Let's look at our builds here. We see our Q build. We see uh, teams. We do have a post-game interview going on, so don't leave just yet. We will get one rolling just here in a second. Want to give everybody a chance to look at those. And we will move over to our post-game interview. Uh, let's get that off of there. And we will add text because I don't have their logo pulled up at the moment. Because as I told you all earlier, I just picked this up. We will let you all know exactly who this is. Clouded Minds. Boom. That's just going to have to work for now. Sorry. Not sorry. And I'm going to jump over into a lobby. And uh, let's see. Let's see. Lobby three. Lobby three. And we will wait on, I think Trill is coming into the interview. <clears throat> That's going to be Trillana, who was playing Rainer in the last game. So we will wait on Trillana to join us. But a uh, great match by um, Clouded Minds. Hey, great match to both teams. Uh, both teams gave it their all. <clears throat> Clouded Minds was just able to uh, able to snowball both of these games in their favor, and I think Trelena's in here. Trelena, can you hear me? Oh my gosh, bless up! You are one of the few people who've gotten my name right. Thank Boom! you. Boom! <laughs> hey, that's the first thing we got right tonight. Uh, just so you know, while y'all were drafting the entire time, I was on my fucking map screen. Um, didn't change my overlay, so. I'm in shambles tonight. I got dominated in my NGS match earlier, fucking up the stream. Aww. But you know what? You guys made it a lot better because y'all put on a great uh, great performance tonight. Uh, my woes aside, and I'm glad I got your name right. I think I butchered Thank it the, you. the first two times I attempted it during the cast. But... Know, tr <laughs> trust me, nobody gets it right. It took my own uh, friends and my own org to get it right, and it took like a month, so it's all good. <laughs> well, uh... Hey, great games, both of them. Um, let's see, Infernal Shrines was our first map. So, I, obviously, I joined in late. Um, looks like some of your teammates are, are in, uh, both Kian and Ruffian, joining in uh, to the chat here. But, uh, 
So welcome to both of them. Awesome. GG's to both y'all. Y'all y'all play very well. Um, I joined in late, so I didn't get to see all of the map bans. And uh, I know that Five Fish uh, took first pick, and you you guys obviously got the uh, the first map pick there. So y'all selected Infernal Shrines, correct? That is correct. Yes. And is that a comfort map pick for you? I mean, I think we do well on it. I don't know if I would say that we have what I would call comfort maps. We're trying to get to the point, and I think we're starting to really get there now where we can basically just come up with, okay, we want to build a certain way on this map or we want to adjust our play style on this map and just do the best we can at it. I don't want to say we have a best map, though. I just I think there are ones that we're getting better strats on as time goes by. Yeah, well, Infernal Shrines is definitely, I think, an overall one of the best design maps, uh, especially for, for competitive play. I think it, it gives you a little bit of everything that you want in competitive play, and I think it's just a very uh, a very fair map overall. It's not so snowball-y like Braxis. It's not so one-comp-oriented like you know some of our bigger maps are very macro-oriented. I think it's a good balance of size, um, action, uh, a great, great objective. Um, you know, so I think it's a great map there. Obviously, y'all pulled ahead. I will say, though, I I'm just wondering, did y'all start sweating a little bit when Five Fish was that huge ARAM brawl towards the end of the match? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, I don't think so. Really, where we started sweating in a couple places was, which, by the way, big, massive shout-out to Five Fish. Y'all play fantastically. You had some really nasty combos with the Leoric and the Kira. Like, some of the stuff y'all did there was insane. Um, I think we started to get a little more sweaty towards when we overcommitted in mid and lost a bunch of people. And then I think we sweated a little bit when we were on that, like, next-to-last fight up in top. Um, those got a little hairy, and obviously whenever you get team-wiped, it's a little rough because... Then you start going, okay, how much are we going to lose? How much are they going to take from us, et cetera? But mm -hmm. thankfully, everybody in there just kind of mentally reset. They went, okay, we got wiped. It's okay. Let's see what they take. And then when we're all up, let's go from there. And we were just able to reset ourselves and push on. See, and that's what good teams do. Uh, unfortunately, my team, and I'm not saying my team's not good. I love my teammates. I, I really enjoy them all. I think they're all great players, much better than me. I'm just lucky to even be on the team. But that's what Good and great teams do. Unfortunately, my NGS match I had earlier tonight, uh, we were in a really good position to win our second match. After our first match was really close, our second match, we did exactly the opposite of what you just said. And instead, we just started staggering when we started sweating a little bit. And you know what happens when you stagger. Uh, so unfortunately, that led to oh, yeah. <laughs> led to our demise. But uh, yeah, so that... that First map, uh, man, that ARAM brawl was exciting. I think everyone in chat was probably like, yo, yo, dude, you need to calm down a little bit because I was about to <laughs> jump out of my freaking chair because I love – those brawls are just so much fun for me. Uh, and it's also just like I'm having to constantly, like, influx my voice there. And generally you can influx it during the fight because most of these fights only last five to 10 seconds, but that one lasted like 20 seconds. And so my voice just had to, <laughs> kept having to get higher and higher and higher as I got more excited. But uh, yeah, so that was an awesome fight. I really enjoyed it. Five fish. Hey, they came out and you know, they, I think they realized they were on their last leg on that map and they came out and just gave you guys everything they could. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough for them to take back the, the map and you guys had it firmly in hand. Uh, so battlefield of eternity, since y'all won first map, did y'all also select Battlefield of Eternity? So we lost the coin flip, and it went over to Five Fish, so they took first hero pick. So we took them to um, Infernal Shrines. Okay. After the half, they took first pick again, and we took them to BOE. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and I, I really liked y'all's y'all's comp. I thought. And I still do. I think they could have beat you on the race, but they, you guys weren't giving them the opportunity to beat you on the race. Uh, at all times, <laughs> you were perfectly in position. Um, you were either forcing them to have to split. You also had that early XP uh, advantage over them. Uh, so they were constantly playing a little bit behind. But I did call out that I think they would win the race. Uh, but that you guys would win most of the team fights, and uh, it turned out to be exactly that. Obviously, you're Rainer. You can burn the Immortal just as well as Vala can, but I was concerned with the Artanis Vala Jaina 
and mm -hmm. uh, hey, it, it turned out that it didn't really matter because you guys just kept the lead and, and snowballed that entire uh, entire map very convincingly. Well, and one thing that I will say, if there's anything that I will say about our team is that we try to do as much reading up as we can on who we're playing for the week, and we've seen when they play that map in the past, we know that they like to do race-heavy comps. I think they've had a couple times where they went like Rainer, Graymane, or Tannis, or they went like Volo, Rainer, Graymane, or some crazy stuff like that, where they, they commit to the shred really hard. And we originally were going to try and figure out how to play around that. And then as we sat there and we're looking at what they were building and what we were building, we're like, well, we can shred pretty good too. Let's let's give it a try. And it worked out, so. Yeah, y'all definitely had good good race, of course, with the uh, the Li Ming, with, with those orbs. Um, Rhaegar does, you know, especially for a utility healer, uh, Rhaegar does good race. Raynor does excellent race, of course. Um, but you, you guys really just didn't give them the opportunity to outrace you. Um, so unfortunately they couldn't put their comp into place and it felt like, you know, the first game there was a little back and forth, but it felt like game two was very heavily sided over to, to you guys and, uh, GG's for y'all's performance. Um, y'all played extremely well. I think this is going to etch y'all definitely in the third place, maybe into second place. Uh, y'all will now be 10 and five. We'll, we'll take a look at those, uh, division standings. Oh, Stark Knight. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, we'll take a look at those, uh, those division standings after the uh, after the match. Um, so is this your your first uh, uh, season in NGS? How many of the seasons? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Have you played? So, oh, about me or did you? Uh, I, I'll do both real quick. Yeah. As far as um, my org clouded minds, we've actually been here since season two. We've been playing pretty regularly throughout most of the seasons. Um, we've had a couple where we've had to pull out here and there just because of. Either, you know, too many people had real life stuff going on or there wasn't enough interest or whatever. But we've especially been around since um, I think it was around season nine or ten. I know that when I was with the team in season 11, uh, we were originally in Div D for that season because that was just before we had to come back. And we went uh, division grand champions that season. So we um, we've been around the block a little bit. Yeah, it sounds um, like it. Yeah, and then just as for me, I'll keep it brief. I've been with the team sporadically, mostly because right when I was getting into this and really playing with them, college was a thing, and we all know college and video games don't mix well. So oh, yeah. I had to back out a bit, but um, they've been really, really kind and gracious to let me come back multiple times and play. And, you know, the thing is the org and all the people that are there, it's just a good, fun group of people. They're awesome i'm lucky to be able to play with them so well that's love you guys a, that's and awesome gals. that's awesome i'm uh glad to see uh, a lot of you guys have been involved for a long time i'm new to ngs this is my first season both casting and and playing so i'm really enjoying it enjoying the community love meeting new people uh and and thank you guys for having me tonight in the uh in the cast before we head out of here do you uh you want to give any shout outs absolutely so first and foremost Five Fitch in a trench coat, smiley face. Thank y'all so much for the games tonight. That was fun. That was very hectic game one. I loved the back and forth there. It was really good. Um, chin up, y'all did fantastic. I look forward to seeing y'all kick butt through the season. Um, thank you so much, Malkir. Is that right? Malkir, you nailed Malkir. it. You nailed it, Malkir. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> cool. Malkir, thank you so much for casting. I know it was really last minute for you, and know it was really last minute for us, but... You did a great job from what I'm seeing in the chat and what I'm hearing. So thank you so much for that. And as far as your NGS season goes, you know what? You take one loss for the night, chin up, reset. You got this. I bet y'all can <laughs> overcome everything the rest of the season. I believe in you. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I got a, I've got a great coach uh, and a great captain. So uh, shout out to uh, Maggie as our captain and our coach, Zane Hyde. Uh, appreciate both of them with all of the work that they put in, time they put in. But, uh, hey, we're, we're working on it. This is our first time together, and, you know, only one way up from the bottom, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, everyone's got to start somewhere. That's how you figure out what you're good at and what you got to work on. So you got this. Yeah, for it sure. It might take a little time, but you got this. You got this. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Hey, thanks for joining in for the post-game interview. GG's to you and Clouded Minds tonight. Y'all both played uh, – both played uh, – both teams played great, and we all enjoyed the performance. So uh, until next time, I'll see you in the Nexus. Absolutely. See you in the Nexus, my man. Take care. Later, later. All right, bye.
All right, well, that was Trelena for uh, for Clouded Minds. Hey, shout out to everybody who joined in tonight. Really appreciate the support on both the stream. Appreciate the support for NGS and all the new follows tonight, the cheered bits, all the support. Love the interaction in the chat. So, hey, I hope you come back, enjoy some more content. Uh, we're trying to stream as much as we can. I promise you it's usually better than this. Uh, I picked this up literally. Actually, I was signed up for another match to start at the same time as this and they messaged me and asked if someone else that was friends with them could instead cast so of course i i don't mind i i said yeah so i got i jumped out of that and then jumped into this one literally as they had, were already about to create the lobby so uh sorry for some of the the missing features there but anyways all all things aside uh thank you all for supporting both these teams uh these teams put in a lot of time and effort to uh to work on uh work on their strats work together on their teamwork uh you know practice scrims storm league matches constantly all of that stuff uh and it looks like we got a sub coming in from trillane of bloodwind hey thanks trillane i really appreciate the sub i really appreciate your support and it was nice talking to you uh uh glad i got your name right because you probably wouldn't have subbed if i hadn't got your name right take my sub I will if you're going to force it on me. But yeah, so uh, thank you for all the support for both these teams in NGS. Thanks to Clouded Minds and Five Fish in a Trench Coat for allowing me to uh, to cast tonight. I uh, hope everybody has a great night. Stark Knight coming in with the cheered bits. Thank you, Stark Knight. Hey, GG's. Y'all played extremely well. Really enjoyed your May play. Uh, you did a great job. But yeah, so thank you to everyone tonight. All the love in the chat. Um, and until next time, I will see you all in the Nexus.